shall have. Come on, come on. Did y'all hear what the song says? It says, I shall have what I be Come on, come on. In other words, there's some things that I want, I can just speak and I believe what the song says. Come on. Thank you so much. Yeah. He told me 
something a while ago, and I told him it was going to happen. I told him it was going to happen. I said, the phone is going to stop ringing. He said, it already has. I knew it would. But when people leave, that's when the Lord steps in. So remember that. Can I direct your attention to Acts chapter 12? Amen. As the old people used to say, you ought to know it by heart by now. <laughs> by heart. I want you to run your finger down to verse 20. And I want to read it to you. Acts chapter 12. Beginning at verse 20. Can I read it to you? Amen. And it says, and Herod was highly displeased with them of Tyre and Sidon. But they came with one accord to him and having made Blastus the king's chamberlain their friend, desired peace because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a said day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a, a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not of a man. Let me stop there. Herod highly displeased with two cities, Tyre and Sidon. They come to him because a situation is about to take place All right. where Tyre and Sidon depend on Herod to feed their family. So they build him up and make him look good. Uh -huh. And instead of giving God the glory, he accepts the glory. Uh -huh. yeah. Never try to steal God's glory. Yeah. Yeah. Today's message, suicide by ego. Uh -huh. Thank you, you may proceed. Suicide by ego. Amen. Greatest thank y'all. We have learned so much in the book of Acts. And I just have to admit, I'm not, I'm not tired of it yet. Because we learned some stuff yes. in Acts. We learned that you can't lie to God. Mm -hmm. Because when you lie, you die. Yeah. We, 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 we discovered that. But here, in Acts chapter 12, we are taught what I call lessons of value. Mm -hmm. Lessons of value. Do you not know that most of what you and I have ever learned, we learn from watching other people. Some of you sitting in here right now, you learn how to cook because mama called you in that kitchen. Yep. Right. Or big mama or Gigi called you in that kitchen yes. Yes. and made you stand right there and you watched what she did. Right. Your cooking not as good as her. But at least you made an effort to try to learn. Yes. 
You know, when I was growing up, you know what, Sammy, you know what young girls would talk how to do when I was growing up? They learned how to operate, oh, this gonna mess your head up. But they learned how to operate what I call a sewing machine. My oldest sister would go to Hancock and get and get a pattern and go next door to the neighbor's house because the neighbor had a sewing machine. And she learned how to put that pattern on that fabric. Y'all not talking to me. And she would make her dress for Sunday morning on Saturday evening. Woo! That's good. That's good. So we, we learn how to do things by watching other people. My dad, on Saturday nights, would polish my shoes. I don't know what happened, but I, Sister Wynn, I don't see the little kids no more, the little babies, with them high top white stride right shoes. Cause y'all too busy buying little boot, little Al Jordan's cost $300. But when I was a little boy, you had white stride right shoes. Mothers, you want your offspring. 
offspring are the fruit of your womb to be blessed. Amen. You want your children to be blessed. Hands, you want your children to have more than what you have? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want your children to graduate from high school? Yes. Maybe even go to Yonder's College? Yes. You want, and then, and then you, when you introduce your child, no matter how old that child is, that's still your baby. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And sometimes when you have been, it has done you proud because you realize you did all you can as a parent and you didn't drop the ball even though you thought you did. Right. You know, your mom and dad may not have been the best. Watch this. They may not have been the best, but they were the best you had. So, I want to live my life so that it will be pleasing in the eyes of God. I want my children to be proud of me. And I want to be proud of my children. Yes. Well, so with that being said, we try to live our lives to be pleasing in the outside of God. Yes. So what happens to me? What happens to you? If you choose, listen to the word I'm using, if you choose to live your life that's not pleasing to God. Yeah. How many of you all here have family members that in your eyesight have wasted what God blessed them with? Yeah. 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 They, 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 they dropped the ball. And they had every opportunity to do right, but they chose to do wrong. Yeah. Everybody here got that one arm. You got that one hand. And you know, you ain't got to say man, but you know your mama didn't raise y'all to be like this. You know why you stopped coming to church? Because you got grown. And you felt that you could make, do what grown folk do. So what happens to me if I choose to live a life that's not pleasing to God? You know what I do? I run the risk of cutting years off my life. Because if you do stupid stuff, you're going to probably get stupid stuff. Well, sometimes people have been known to gamble with their lives. Uh -huh. You don't have to say a thing. But anybody here ever roll the dice of life on the crap table? Yeah. Sometimes. You've done some stupid stuff. Yeah. And you know what? It's only the grace of God. Oh, yeah. You ain't gonna say a man, but it's probably only the grace of God. Some of all of us in there ain't got HIV. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Mero, Tony, Sudum, God has to be first. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness, then all these other things are going to be given to you. You know why me and us are missing out? Because we refuse to put God first. Then it's called order. Put God first. Then you know what comes after God? Others. That's right. Others. That's right. You ever done something to bless somebody else and then that blessing just come right back on you? That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. I got an experiment for you to start tomorrow. Bless somebody and see how quick that blessing comes back to you. Right. Hmm. But then there are times. We, we've all done right. We've done right. We, we bless people. Right. Yeah. We, we have. You've been a blessing. Yeah. And it, it's not that you made somebody rich. Uh -huh. But let me tell you what's a blessing. When you believe that God is going to bless you and you give somebody the last you got. Right. 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 Blessings come when we are eager and ready to bless other people. Amen. Amen. But then there are times we're all human. Mm -hmm. Then there are times we have made some terrible mistakes. Yes. Terrible mistakes. Anybody here ever made a mistake? Yes, ma'am. You made a mistake? Yes. Well, guess what? The last mistake you made <clears throat> ain't going to be the last mistake you ever going to make. Right. Right. Oh, but you know what makes me a fool? When I keep on making the same mistake over and over and over. Yes, sir. Yes. You know why you've been blessed? You know why you've been blessed all your life? I know things have been perfect. And there are some things that if you could just, come on, go with me. Pause. Rewind. Press play. Don't you wish you were just that simple? To correct past mistakes? But do you not know that sometimes the mistakes we make, they never leave us? Uh, right, no. <clears throat> you, you know why you've been blessed all your life? Life, Richard. Pastor, I, I have been blessed all my life. Yes, you have. Because yes, every morning you wake up and say good morning. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Every time your eyes are open, and you can physically move yourself this way. And let your feet touch the floor. That's a blessing. But at the end of the day, when I look over my life, when I look back and see things go, I can say that I've truly been blessed. Yes, sir. And let me just let you drop this in for free. I don't know what works for you, but the source of my blessing has been because I have tried to put things in order by putting God first in my life. Right, right. Yes, sir. Well, in Acts chapter 12, we meet a man by the name of Herod. Yeah. Touch your name and say he was something else. <laughs> Same kind of stuff that people say about you when you leave out that dress. <laughs> How many of y'all know some people when they leave by the press? Ooh, oh, that's a son of a girl in Or a son of something else. <laughs> we meet this man by the name of Herod. This Herod had Peter thrown in prison. Y'all remember Peter oh, in yeah. prison? Right. Between two guards, y'all remember that? Oh, yes, sir. This man, Herod, had Peter put 
put in prison. This help was a shrewd and clever diplomat. How many of y'all know people that can persuade you to do stuff? Can't nobody else persuade you to do it. Slick. Snakes, just slick. Just low down. Snake in the grass. Don't answer the phone when it's empty. sleep. Always got some get rich of a night skin. Herod was a shrewd diplomat. Provided food for the cities 
the tire inside. Y'all remember back in the day when people used to form lines around the building because they were doing the way government cheese? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't look at me like that. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Y'all remember the grilled cheese sandwich? And I've seen people, even today, I've seen car lines wrapped around the corner because they're giving away free stuff. Right. We love free stuff. Herod was feeding the people of Tyre and Sidon. And since we were younger, you know what we learned? You don't ever bite the hand. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right.
Don't do nothing for me that you got to keep reminding me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
She said, don't you ever forget, people don't have to do nothing. She, she, she substituted nothing for something else. She said, people don't have to do nothing. That's right. That's right. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's right. And anytime somebody does something for you, be thankful. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, I want you to, if you know somebody whose ego is inflated, I don't want you to stand on your feet because I want you to pray for them. They, 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 got, they, got, they got ego problems. And then, Lord, you can stand yourself if you don't ever want anything like that to happen to you. Or yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I, I need you to remember this every day. You're blessed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. But I'm still blessed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The little piece of a house that you live in. Yes, to some people in the world, that's a mansion. Yes. Yes. Woo! Thank God for it. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
my ego. And remember whatever you have. God bless you with God has blessed us. You know how many? You know how many funerals you've been to in your lifetime? You got any idea how many funerals you've been to? How many wrecks you've drawn by? How many cemeteries? How many, how many hospitals you've drawn by? And God has spared your life. Yes. And I think I got an idea what Big Mama was talking about when she used to say, I wouldn't take nothing from a journey. So I, I just ask that you will watch your ego. And remember, if it was a full of grace of God. Yes. Come on, give God a hand. Come on, come on. Come on, baby. Come on.